Alright guys, so today I'm going to make a relatively quick video. It's going to be about uh, how to diagnose your 350Z. Um, sometimes that can be a pain in the ass. You can have an engine code that is... Uh, let me adjust my thing here. And you may have an engine code. Um, I have one of these guys. These uh, scan gauges, which kind of uh, scan it on the fly. And you can clear codes with it, and you can do all that without needing your iPhone or your Android phone or an external OBD adapter to clear it. So that's cool. You can get one of these too. They run about, I got this one used on eBay, but they go about 150 bucks, brand new. Um, it gives you stuff like water temperature, oil temperature. Um, it can do wide, not wideband, but it can check your narrowband sensors also. So if it's something you might be interested in, go ahead and check them out. I'm not sponsored by them, but I do like this uh, this thing. Um, just make sure you're getting the new one that has the newest firmware. If you don't, you can uh, mail these guys in and uh, they will uh, up update the firmware for you for like 20 bucks. But anyway, let's get back to the video. So I'm going to use a uh, software today called Nissan Data Scan, which uses one of these guys. Um, this is a cheap Chicom um, OBD2 cable. I'm going to send you a link in the description because the application is a little bit picky. Uh, so it's called Nissan Data Scan 2. Um, I'll, I'll show the version number and whatnot. But it basically all you need is one of these cables that is con uh, configurable with the application on Windows. And what you're going to do is you're going to come under here and right there you're going to like that you're gonna do that and you're gonna plug it in there once you do that you're gonna plug in the USB end obviously to your laptop and once you have all the drivers installed and everything then uh, it'll your laptop will recognize your OBD your computer and it'll connect so you're gonna treat it just like any other OBD2 connection except instead of using like your phone via Bluetooth or uh, like one of those modules, you're going to use your laptop, all right? So now I'm going to basically connect this and switch over to the laptop view so I can show you what the application can do. All right, well, I'm going to show you first how to run data scan. So first you run, you run the application, you go to your settings, communication, and you figure out, you have to make sure first that all your uh, IDs are in order, so make sure that the same number, from my understanding. Then you need to set your port which you go to your device manager if you don't know which port you're using the USB port I mean and you look under ports and you will see once you have your thing installed it says COM5 or COM1 or whatever and that's your port number so in this case I'm just gonna put 05 which I already had so then I'm gonna hit connect it's gonna run and my car is running at this point right now so I just haven't organized all my values so it's all over the place but you can see all the values running so you can do data logs for all these things um, and basically just save them to a I believe it's a text file that this can read you can also run your self diagnostics if you have any codes or whatnot um, you have your idle adjustment which I don't I usually don't mess with it but it's nice that it has this capability the same thing with timing um, your my cars it right now it's cold so it's not letting me change anything you can change your fuel pump you can turn on and off your cylinders this tool is very good uh, to see if you have any misfires at the same time um, you can do speed tests more this is the log reader um, and then under work support you can clear uh, any self-learn air volume and if you have to happen the pin code for the immobilizer key you can reprogram your keys I don't so if you guys know how to get that then let me know um, some of these functions uh, I don't know if it's that I have the wrong numbers on my settings but it cannot connect to it um, right now it will connect to the ABS um, so there you see that it's connected I don't have any well I think I have one error which is my battery whatever reason it says that um, yeah I don't know what that is I'm gonna have to look at that code and see where it is because my battery is still technically good but whatever um, the SRS are your airbags so you can turn you can I guess do a diagnosis for that um, 
I don't have a diesel, so that's obviously not going to work. And then here you are with the OBD2 functions. So you can do your data displays. Um, and then you can organize all this to like fit in one. I just don't use this that much because my laptop is trash. But um, yeah, you can go ahead and see each parameter one by one. And I believe you can stack them too. So you can do that in the settings for each one of these uh, drop down windows. Um, again, more logs, uh, your fuel system, if it's stuck in open or closed loop, um, it'll tell you. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a pretty good software for the price. I believe I paid like 29 bucks for it. Um, and it was like $10 for the uh, cable. But um, yeah, outside of that, you can change all the parameters there and organize everything. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Thanks.